Well, guys, I've made several videos now about churches progressively falling into a leftist agenda where they just become a place to hear about the Democratic Party platform, is basically. And unfortunately, we've now gone to the point that it's affecting Catholic churches, and I don't know how widespread this problem is. I would hope that it's not as widespread as it is with Protestant churches. But what I can tell you is that Apparently, they celebrated a Pride Mass in Washington uh, this month, so that, that's just lovely, that's just wonderful. Look at this. Beach mode talk, near heading level one Pride Masses takes place in Washington, D.C., despite calls for Cardinal to intervene. Neither Cardinal Gregory nor the Archdiocese of Washington has issued any statement regarding the Pride Mass. Yeah, they should put a stop to Pride Mass because it def it completely defeats the point of mass. Caption, pro caption with progress pride flags visible in the back of the church. Photo, Peter Pinto slash CNA. What is a progress pride, pride flag? What does that mean? What is the progress pride flag? Basically, is coalescing all of the leftist agendas into one flag? Is that what it means? Peter Pinto slash CNA June 15th, 2023. A pride mass took place in Washington, D.C. as Holy Trinity Catholic Church Wednesday night. Holy Trinity Catholic Church? No! <laughs> Come on, man. It has such a good name for for this to happen. Seriously? Despite calls for Cardinal Milton Gregory to cancel it. Why didn't he cancel it? About 250 people attended the third annual Pride Mass organized by Holy Trinity's LGBTQIA+. Ministry at the Jesuit Run Church located in D.C. as Georgetown neighborhood. So, I'm kind of confused on whether they like actively are preaching about Pride and making that like the focal point of the Mass. Because if they are, then... They're defeating the whole point of Mass because Mass is supposed to be about communion and the Eucharist. That's like the high point of the Mass and is not to push any kind of political agenda. President Joe Biden has been known to attend Sunday Mass at Holy Trinity as his former house. Speaker Nancy Pelosi, President John F. Kennedy and his family also attended Mass at the church. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. This sounds like a very liberal Mass. Although... Uh, JFK, was he around, did he attend Mass before Vatican II and they changed it from Latin to the popular language? Which just means, by the way, whatever language is prevalent around the area, because all the Masses used to be in Latin. I actually am interested in going to a Latin Mass one day, but um, I think that he attended Mass before things went south. According to an online statement from the celebrant, the parish's pastor, Jesuit Father Kevin, Gillespie, the Mass was an expression of our parish's mission statement to accompany one another, and Christ to celebrate God's love and transform lives. Okay, well, how did you do that by affirming pride? Mass program distributed by organizers of the D.C. Pride Mass prominently featured a progress. Pride flag, Peter Pinedo slash CNA. Father Gillespie gave a homily highlighting the heroism of Franciscan priest in New York. Firefighter Chaplain Link Father Mitchell Judge, who was killed in service during the 9 slash 11 terrorist. Attack on the World Trade Center in New York. Gillespie highlighted Judge's ministry to AIDS. Victims and his gay rights activism as an openly gay priest. What do you mean by gay rights? Like, do you mean that we shouldn't um, criminalize it? Or, or, what, or what does that mean? Because, like, as a priest who's called to celibacy, he's not supposed to be uh, affirming that kind of stuff. He's not supposed to be encouraging people to engage in what the Bible calls sexual immorality. And... I'm not sure if you guys have seen another video I made about this topic uh, or the topic of sexual immorality about why the Bible uh, condemns LGBT. It's because of sexual immorality. So um, I don't know why if that was if, if he was promoting that he's going against everything that Catholicism stands for. A handout referenced by Rev. Kevin Gillespie during his homily depicts Franciscan Father Mitchell, judge who was killed serving on 9 slash 11 and according to Gillespie was an openly gay priest, Peter, Pinedo slash CNA. Openly gay priest? So does that mean that he just said that he was uh, inclined towards homosexuality or something? During the Mass, prayers were offered in solidarity with LGBTQ plus individuals and the LGBTQ plus community. Some of those present held small progress pride flags that they had picked up from a table in the back of the church. Mass programs handed out by volunteers also bore the flag, which is a symbol of homosexual and transgender pride and acceptance. So, by if by acceptance, and this is always the issue that I have with the pride movement, if, if by acceptance they mean like we affirm that these things are good and 
do not get to criticize them anymore, then no, Catholics cannot do this. It's in the catechism, it's in the Bible, it's all over the place. I mean, we can't affirm pride. Outside the church, approve. And also, pride itself is considered a mortal sin. It's actually a very dangerous uh, sin to fall into, so... Mass is not a place for freaking uh, pride flags. Outside the church, a group of just over 20 people gathered to hold a prayer vigil and link protest. Link mass. Some of them were members of the Catholic group's tradition, family, and property. America and America needs Fatima. The sounds of bagpipes, people praying the rosary, and chanting could be heard from inside the church during the mass. At the conclusion of the mass, Holy Trinity LGBTQIA plus ministry leader Ernest Rascuska asked, "Attendees to exit through the side doors because of different things occurring in the neighborhood. We are not going to say why." To which the crowds erupted in laughter. Roscoskas told CNA that the Mass was a beautiful occasion that was supported by the entire parish and gave the community a true sense of belonging. I mean, there's a difference between giving people a sense of belonging and accepting them into Christianity and then telling them that, you know, they should... There's no conflict between the pride lifestyle and the Catholic lifestyle. There absolutely is. I mean, people who are outside of Catholicism and affirm pride stuff and, like, are as liberal as you can get think that all this kind of stuff is a joke because it is. There's no reconciling Catholicism and biblical Christianity, if you're a Protestant, with pride. There just isn't. The mass took place despite calls for Gregory to cancel it, which gained considerable traction. Online, a Catholic convert who struggles with same-sex attraction named Anna Catherine Howell, 31, let a call to stop the event. According to Howell, pride events sponsored and or attended by Catholics are contrary to Catholic teaching, give scandal, and actually do harm to faithful, chase Catholics with same-sex attraction who do not wish to celebrate or be identified by their worst impulses or past sins. Yeah, I completely agree with that. I think that pride is basically telling you to identify with something other than God and find your identity in something other than Christ. And that on its face, I can't agree with because our whole purpose and the reason we're here is because of Christ. Christ is God himself and he's the creator and he became flesh and is here to free people from this kind of attraction, and so we aren't to build a identity or an identity off of anything else but him. So yeah, absolutely agree. Far from being loving, Howell told CNA that Pride Masses, which have been scheduled to take place in Pittsburgh, DC, New York City, and Chicago this June, oh, present this a great threat to both the oh, dear, no. church and those who struggle with same-sex attraction. What same-sex attracted individuals need from the church, Howell said, is charity and clarity. Yeah. To affirm, turn a blind eye to, and certainly to celebrate evil is evil. We cannot be unclear or mushy about the fact that homosexual acts are inherently gravely sinful, Howell said. Yeah, I mean, that's what the Bible says, that's what the Catechism says, that's what, you know, we've traditionally affirmed for, for centuries before any of this pride nonsense came about. And now there's modernists that want to turn around the, the teachings of the church and want to infect the church with their modernist, ridiculous ideas that we do not accept. Yeah. We have to be very clear that we love all human beings, that all human beings are called to Christ, to his church, Howell stated. But from that love, we must then be exceptionally clear about God's call to same-sex attracted people, which is just like his call to everyone, which is chastity, which is holiness, which is a life as a Catholic where you're devoted to God, ordered toward flourishing, and ultimately ordered toward a full experience of God and a beatific vision. Yeah, absolutely. So Howell said she estimated hundreds of others joined her call for Cardinal Gregory to cancel the Mass. She said she never received a response. Neither Cardinal Gregory nor the Archdiocese of Washington has issued any statement regarding the Pride Mass. The Archdiocese has not replied to CNA's request for comment. A similar event advertised as a Pride Mass at Pittsburgh's Duquesne University on June 11th was canceled after the diocese's bishop, Link David Zubik, disavowed the event in a letter sent to priests. Good. At least he, did. He, at least he says, I'm not going to tolerate this nonsense. Deacons and seminarians. As a church, we all have the responsibility to love those who have same-sex attraction, but at the same time, the church cannot support behavior that goes against God's law, Bishop Zubik wrote. Absolutely. Including that given all that has transpired surrounding this event, I am asking that this gathering be canceled. Kevin Hayes, president of Catholics for Change in Our Church, one of the groups organizing the Pittsburgh event, decried the bishop's letter telling CNA his group was sad, hurt, disappointed, and upset the mass was canceled by Bishop Zubik. So you're sad that Catholicism wants to be consistent with Catholicism and bishops who serve the Catholic Church want to be consistent with the Catholic Church? I mean, I, I mean, it just sounds like you want to do your own thing and you think that you know better than the church, which is the sin of pride. I, honestly, I should do a whole breakdown. Let me know if you guys want to see this, a breakdown of why the sin of pride is so damaging and so harmful and why we don't affirm it and how it has to do with Pride Month itself and why ultimately that's demonic. While we understand there may have been some threats, we think it would have been more powerful to stand up in love and support having the mass, Hey said. List with two items, keywords. Okay. Well, we're done with that article. I think my concluding thoughts will be, yeah, Pride Masses should not exist. 
They do not need to exist. They are contradictory to the mass itself. The mass is supposed to be, like I said, focusing on communion, on God, on the Eucharist, on you know all the things that have to do with Catholicism. And it's not there to preach a political agenda. And I would say this about any church that's or any Catholic church in particular. Because I don't exactly expect consistency from Protestant churches, no offense, but from Catholic churches who are supposed to have a liturgical consistency, I would say that we don't need to make mass about anything political. We do not need to preach about politics in, in church that much. And if it can be avoided, it should be. Because ultimately the mass is about Christ and his sacrifice not about any kind of political thing that the world came up with. And I think that these pride masses should be shut down, preferably from the, from the top down. They shouldn't even have the chance to, to exist because they are in extreme contradiction to the Catholic faith. And as a Catholic myself, I think it's very sad to know that these things are happening. If you guys want to read the original article and give comments on it, I will leave the link in the description. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, found it interesting. Let me know if you want to see the breakdown that I just talked about, the pride breakdown biblically. Um, and leave a like, subscribe, uh, stop, stop. and we'll see you guys in the next one. God bless.